Welcome to Pentair Flow Technologies Workfront Requester Reviewer Training. Please make sure that you watch the Pentair Overview Training before watching the Requester Reviewer Training. This process starts with the project requester, who will submit a project request form. It will then go through our process through the Project Request Queue Manager, the Project Planner, the Worker, and then the next time you'll see it, it will be in the review and approval process where you are required to make comments and sometimes make approvals. Let's start with the project request form. In order to log into Workfront, we go to the designated URL and then log in via single sign-on or SSO. You'll need your tab to log in via the SSO code here using your Pentair EID and password. Once you've logged in, you'll see your dashboard. This is the initial layout for your view of Workfront. At the very top, you'll see My Updates, Requests, and then over on the right, you can search all. There's some help information, notification information, and your profile settings. Currently, we're under the Requests tab, where we have New Request, my requests, my segment requests, and more. Under the My Updates tab, you'll see all the proof updates that you have within Workfront. Anytime you're required to approve or deny a document within Workfront, it will appear under your My Updates tab. This is a great place to go if you've turned off your notifications. Under the Request tab, there is a new request, which we'll go over in a minute, my requests, which are all the requests that you've submitted, ones that are uh, under review, denied, some that haven't been viewed yet under the new section, or ones that have been approved. When your request gets submitted, the request queue manager, who is currently our content marketing manager, will review the request and either place it under review deny it, or approve it. Once it gets approved, it will go to the project planner who will start assigning tasks to the creative team or content personnel. Under My Segments Requests, you can review all the requests that are currently submitted under our segment. In this case, that is Flow Technologies. This helps you view all the projects we have going and what we're working on. Over here in the top right, we have a settings tab where we can go to my settings. Currently, we're logged in as a test requester reviewer, but normally this would have your name. If we go to my settings, we'll see a bunch of personal info. We encourage you to enter information that hasn't already been populated. When you log in via single sign-on, it will automatically take your name, your email address, and your Federation ID or your EID. I encourage you to put your job info, your contact info in, and as you scroll down, you'll see some notifications. When you first log in, you will see that you have quite a few notifications. We encourage these first two lines for you to keep those here, keep those checked. If you do not want to receive email notifications, it will be your responsibility to go to that My Updates tab and view all the proofs that need your approval. Again, this is an area where you can turn off your email notifications. However, when you log into Workfront, the only way you'll be able to view the proofs that need your approval or be notified is under this My Updates tab it cannot go back to creative unless you approve or request changes here. Now we'll submit a request. To submit a request, you click on the new request tab. From this drop down, you'll see that there are quite a few requests. Workfront is a Pentair wide initiative. So aquatics, filtration, enterprise, and Flow Technologies all have requests within this same tool. Today we're going to be going through the Flow Technologies content request. To submit a new project, 
you click in this drop down, you select your segment. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be doing a Flow Technologies content request. Put in the name of your project, a detailed description. This information here will populate your name, but for the purpose of this training, it says Test Requester Reviewer and then add any documents. Please keep in mind we require the content to be prepared ahead of time. If you are from engineering, the DXF file is a file we prefer for manual submission. Then you'll select single asset or multi-asset. Multi-asset would be for a campaign that involves many assets within a single project. For this, we're going to click on single asset. If this is a new content type, click New. Otherwise, if it's an update, click Update. This is a new project, however. If your content is ready, please click Yes. We require all project content to be 95% complete prior to submission. If you need someone from the content team to help you with your comment, please submit an email to pentair.news at pentair.com. The next question revolves around our Flow Technologies deliverable type. These vary from segment to segment. Please select the literature type that applies to you. Over time, these literature types may change and you may see different selections in the tool. Then you click your literature deliverable. In this case, it's a product selection guide. And then we'll want to make sure that if this project requires a warranty in it, we want to have the latest version. In this case, we don't need a warranty. There's also a question here about translation being required. If you click yes, it will give you some options, but in this case, we don't need it translated. Then we'll select the date the final project is due. Select the Flow Technologies business unit, followed by the Flow Technologies product line and the product line application. Again, these selection items will change over time. Strategy either growth or maintain. In this case, it's a growth project. And then we'll select the Flow Technologies target audience. Sometimes this is an end user, distributor, a dealer. In this case, it's all three. And then please list reviewers on the project. In this box on the left, the people you list by email will be posted as reviewers. This means a decision is not required by them, but we would like their input if they have some. On the right, you will list reviewers by email who are required approvers. This means the project drafts will not move back to creative or be approved unless these individuals view and make a decision on the project. Next, please give asset specifications. Sometimes this might be a vendor providing an asset or template or specs. You can submit those up at the top around the add documents. Otherwise, in this case, we know that it needs to be a landscape 11 by 8.5. So we'll put in 11 by 8.5. If you try and submit the form with all, all of the required information, you will get an error message like this. In this case, we need to select our asset type. If you don't know, please just click I don't know. The next time you will see your project is during the review and approval process. As a requester reviewer, once your project gets submitted, the request queue manager will need to review the project, approve it as a work in progress, put it on hold, or cancel the project if they don't feel it is in line with our business objectives. Then the project will be moved over to a project planner. The project planner will assign certain tasks to certain workers. And then the project will be submitted to a worker who will then post a proof for you to review. In your dashboard view, if you go under my requests, you can see all the projects you have. The ones that have been denied, the ones that are new, the ones that have been approved, and the ones that are currently under review. From here, there are two ways you can view your proof. The first way is for you to get an email notification where you can click on go to proof and it will take you directly to that project's proof. On this email notification, you will notice there are a few things. It shows you a nice thumbnail of the proof you're reviewing. It has the name of the proof, 
shows you the version and there's also the option to share this proof with someone else. If you see that the personnel listed in the review are not adequate, you can share this proof with someone on your team and it will give you a link to share. Down here you'll see that there is a stage and a proof progress. Sometimes we have multiple stages so one team can view and then when they're finished reviewing a second team review. In this case we just have one stage and the proof progress is that people have seen the proof, no one has opened the proof, no one has made a comment, and no one has made a decision. When the box is green, that means the person has seen the email. If the O box is green, it means they've opened it. And if the C box is green, that means they have commented. Lastly, you'll notice that some personnel have a D box as well. Folks that are just reviewers will not be required to make a decision on the proof. If they are reviewer and approver, they will be required to make a decision before it can go back to creative. Keep in mind that if Katie makes a decision, but Brian and Carter do not, it will not go back to creative and it will be stuck in the review phase. Additionally, people who are reviewers do not have to log in and open or comment or make a decision for the proof to go back to creative. It is simply notifying them in case they would like to review the document. Additionally, if any of these boxes are red, it means the proof is past its deadline and we need you to urgently review the proof and make your decision. Other than your email notification, there are two other ways to review your proof. The most common and easiest way is under your My Updates tab. This tab is directly synced with the Pentair Workfront mobile app, and I encourage you to use that tool as this view is going to be the most useful for you to review your proofs. Here, you can simply go to the proof by clicking this button over to the right. Click Go to Proof, and it will open up Workfront Proof HQ. Once you open your proof, you'll have a variety of options. Up at the top, you will have some options to add a comment, or if you are an approver, you will be required to make a decision before it goes back to creative. Up at the top left, we have different ways that you can view the document. Single page view, as a continuous view, or as a magazine view. You can also see the pages and a thumbnail view over on the left. Additionally, you can compare proofs. This will show you previous versions of the document with previous version comments so that you can review the changes you might have requested in an earlier version. Again, when you're ready to make a decision, please click Make Decision. If you do not see this option, this means you are only listed as a reviewer, and we would like you to comment and add some feedback, but ultimately a decision is not required. If you click on Add a Comment, you will have some options to upload an attachment or to tag another individual. If you tag them, they will automatically be notified and be pulled into this proof. You're able to filter comments and also add drawings, highlights, or arrows based on the comment you're making. These will all be attached to your comment. When you click Make Decision, you will have an option to do Approved, Approved with Changes, Changes Required, or Not Relevant. As before, Approved or Changes Required is best. If you clicked Approve with Changes, we won't have an opportunity to change this again. So I highly recommend using Approved or Changes Required. If you don't have an opinion on this version or nothing was changed that relates to you, please click Not Relevant. After this point, the project will either go back to Creative for additional reviews or the project will be completed. At that point, it will be sent to the requester by the worker or to other stakeholders such as the digital team or the content team. This concludes our requester reviewer training. Next, please review the Workfront mobile app training.